Okay, so we're 9.7 and we're looking at variable forces and distributed forces. But we're focusing first on variable forces. It's any force that is not constant. And what do you do when you're trying to calculate the work of a variable force? Well, you need the function of that force as a function of time, I mean, of displacement. And then you need to integrate it because it's a variable force. So here we have a, a problem. We have a spring. We have a brick on the spring. We have the earth. And um, the brick is compressing the spring. So we know um, intuitively, we know that the work done by the brick must be positive because the brick force is down and the displacement is down. And we know that the work done by the spring is negative because the displacement is down and the, the, the spring force is up. Okay, But now we want to actually use our equations to solve these kinds of problems. So the question is, what is the work done by the, the brick on the spring during the compression? So... Uh, this is from chapter 8. We, well, first of all, we know that the force of the brick on the spring is equal and opposite to the force of the spring on the brick. Okay? Right? It's a contact force. They're an interaction pair. So the force of the brick on the spring equals the force of the spring on the brick. And what is the force of a spring? We know from chapter 8, this is it. So you need to go back and watch the videos on the springs and Hooke's Law, specifically Hooke's Law. Um, so we know the definition uh, of the spring force. And it is this, minus k, x minus x zero. And this is a variable force because x varies, x changes. Right? You, as you compress it, x becomes uh, smaller and smaller. If you stretch the spring, x becomes larger and larger. But k and x0 are constants, but x is a variable force. I mean, x is a variable, so the spring force is a variable force. And so we know that the spring force is equal and opposite to the, the force of the brick on the spring. So where this is a minus... The force of the brick on the spring is a plus. Okay? So the force of the spring on the brick minus and plus. Okay, so now, excellent. We now have our function. This is our function. F force as a function of x is equal to whatever it's given. Okay, this is our function of x. So now we know that work, because it's, because it's a variable force, we need to integrate. So there's our, the force of the brick on the spring, dx, is then the integral from x0 to x, from x0 to x, that's the displacement, and there is that function times dx. Okay, we integrate it and we get this. All right? So, um, because of the square, we know that whatever is inside of this bracket will be positive. So, the work done on the brick on the spring is positive. Okay, which makes sense because they both are in the same direction. What would the work be by the spring, what would the work be done by the spring? Well, all you would need to do is replace this function with this function. So there's a minus there. So you'd put a minus inside there and you would end up with a minus out here, which means that the work by the spring would be negative. Okay?